Well, we'll be here before you know it, so we brought in Chef Jeffrey with Locale Market in St. Pete to show us how to make a yummy pork chop dish full of fall flavors. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. So as you can see here, I have a couple of these beautiful Creekstone Heritage pork loins in the cast iron. Now, of course, fall is in the air, starting to get a little bit cooler, and I absolutely love cooking in cast iron this time of year. Of course, we're always talking about developing flavor, and if you get this cast iron seasoned beautifully, it's gonna add so much to this dish. So What's I've got- the difference between cooking in cast iron and cooking in your regular old black bottom pan? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, um, this, this cast iron has been in my family for about, I don't know, three generations or so. So it's got that much love, it's got that much flavor in there. Um, and you also get a really, really nice sear on this meat or you know whatever protein it is that you're cooking. Um, as you'd mentioned, I'd like to just hold this up and show you guys. This is the finished product. Again, nice this Creekstone Heritage Pork. So I like to keep things pretty simple whenever I'm working in the kitchen, as you know. So here I have a little bit of fig mustarda. It's fig season, of course, so you wanna make sure that you're using delicious seasonal flavors. So a little bit of simple syrup, a little bit of mustard seed, a little bit of red pepper, and we're off to the races. So we're just gonna put a little bit down on our plate like so. Very easy peasy. <laughs> and I'm sure you can smell all that delicious garlic and Ooh, thyme and bay in there. It smells very good. Now, as always, I would like to remind everyone that everything you see here is available at Locale Market every single day. Come on in and, you know, see us. Which I'm, could help I'm because I don't know if, I don't know if the people at home just have a uh, Figma start on hand. Yes, ma'am. So, well, we have it available for sale or all of the ingredients, of course, we're happy to send you home with what you need to make it for yourself. So we're plating this now. We just sliced up, because uh, you kept the bone in. I guess that helps with the, keep, keeping it nice and moist and not drying out. Absolutely, and I find that it adds a lot of flavor. Now, something else, Jasmine, that we were speaking about. Pork, you don't have to cook it well done, as no. your grandmother always said. This is a beautiful medium, and that's just how I like it. So a little bit more of this Figma starter right Ooh, on top. Ooh, that's pretty. And this is something that will warm you up on a nice, chilly evening. I'm gonna put a little bit of micro mustard greens right on top. Now these come so from- so bright. Yeah, these come from um, South Tampa actually, from Uriah's Urban Farms, and we're big fans of what they do over there. Gotta support local farmers. Yes, ma'am. So just a few easy ingredients on this plate, and you've got a knockout right there. So. Awesome, and of course, if you don't feel like maybe you're up to par, or maybe your cast iron isn't seasoned as good as Chef Jeff's, you can always go down to Locale and they'll cook something up right for you. Thank you so much for coming on the show and showing us this wonderful dish. It's my pleasure, thank you for having me. Anytime, and we'll be right back after this short break.